This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Undrafted, but not unsigned, at least as of now. According to Yahoo Sports, the vertical Alex Pointhris is inked up with the Indiana Pacers. Pointhris played with the Orlando Magic Blue Squad as an undrafted free agent this summer. The deal is a partially guaranteed contract with the Indiana Pacers, though it is likely that he will play with the Pacers D-League team in Fort Wayne. 3-9 in year one, 4-8 in year two, and 7-4 and last season. If there is a year where Moorhead State head football coach Rob Tinger can walk around with some swag and rock that garden hat, it is this year. The Eagles have set lofty goals for themselves this season. Josh McKinney, he was at Media Day. Year number four of the Rob Tenure era here at Moorhead State, and he says things have gone according to plan over the first couple of years in rebuilding the program after a 7-4 and four finish last season. This year, Tenure and the Eagles are thinking championship. Play a little friggin' urgency this, this drive. Let's go. 7-4, you know, that, that's no longer satisfactory for us. You know, uh, nothing short of a PFL's championship this year will, will satisfy us. So, you know, we're, we're going to continue to push each other in practice and do whatever it takes to get that ring. I know they talk a lot about championships. Uh, my thing is always this. My goal every year is I want to get to the final two or three weeks of the season and have a chance to win a championship. Because I think a lot of times in this conference, if you're still in the mix at that point, uh, it means you've had a pretty good season and you're going to have a chance to compete for a championship that late in the season. And I think that's what it's all about. I guess the best way to go out for me would be a PFL championship. And uh, I can't, it's not even in my mind that something else can happen right now. So Now this year marks the 50th anniversary since Moorhead State's last outright football conference championship. Tenure and the Eagles begin their quest at another football title on September 3rd at James Madison. Reporting in Moorhead, Josh McKinney, WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, good stuff there from Josh. After back-to-back -back appearances in the state final, Williamsburg struggled to start 2015, but a strong finish as the Yellow Jackets excited and optimistic about 2016. Go back to Josh McKinney as he takes us to Whitley County for the next preview in our 40 teams in 20 days series. It was just two years ago that Williamsburg was playing in back-to-back -back Class A state championship games. The class that went to state for two years, they'd played with each other their whole life. They were, they were like brothers, you know, and we just really needed to get to that point at the end of the season, and we did. And after a strong finish last season, the Yellow Jackets are poised to make another run at Bowling Green. The kids played well towards the end of the year. They got much better. They were able to... Uh, execute our offense and defensively we got much better so it's it's nice to have some returning players and so this year we just got to come into it you know on full stride and, and pick up where we left off and continue to get better and develop we've got a lot of young players that uh, didn't get to play a lot the last few years that are playing now so we ended on a high note last year with a lot more wins you know finishing up strong Williamsburg failed to defend its four consecutive district titles finishing in a three-way tie with Harlan and Pineville I think we've got a little bit of a bitter taste in our mouth and we're really wanting to come out and get that district title again. Add that to the fact the Jackets have lost to the eventual state champion three straight years. They are more than motivated to finish this season as champs themselves. Oh, it's going to be a dogfight. You know, everybody wants it bad, but, you know, we just got to come in and play our game. And we know that if we play our game, then there's nobody that can stop us. In Whitley County, Josh McKinney, WYMT Mountain Sports. Now, if the Yellow Jackets are to win that district championship, they are going to have to win on the road. They host Harlan, but must go to Pineville and Lingkamp. And we have two quick coaching changes tonight. I want to mention McGonfin County Scotty McCoy has left the program. It is said that he is at Lawrence County now as his wife took a teaching position. And Clay County's Justin Combs today has resigned. You can check more on that, those two stories on at WYMT.com. This weekend in our Pigskin Preview Series, Allen Central goes Saturday at 6. And on Sunday, it's East Ridge's turn. That's sports, and we'll be back.